hundreds of Nigerian Boko Haram terrorists have been held in a camp in Bono State after surrendering to the military rioted on Wednesday to demand the right to slaughter cows for meat. AP reports, AFP reports, pardon. The riot prompted residents in the northeast city of Madugubi to lay siege to the camp, welding sweats, daggers, and clubs, and threatening to kill anyone who left the facility, security sources have said. The incident illustrated the sensitive tax which authorities face in reinserting former fighters back into the communities that have often suffered from years of attacks and kidnappings during a 12-year Islamist insurgency. The army presents, you know, the present the surrender of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters and families in recent months as a sign of success in ending the conflict centered in the northeast Bono State. But many residents still see them as a security risk. Around 250 Boko Haram members, including women and children, stage a violence protest in the Gidan Taki outskirts of the city, smashing windows and doors and threatening to move out of the camp if their demand was not met, the source and residents have said. The Boko Haram inmates went on a rampage this morning, breaking doors and windows and even attempted to leave the camp said Konto Gaga, a member of an anti-jihadist militia that helps the army. According to the Nigerian military, 18,000 Boko Haram fighters and their families have surrendered to the army following the death in May of their leader Abubakar Shikau. Shekau blew himself up to avoid capture during infighting with the rival Islamic State West African Province Iswap faction in its Sambisa forest enclave. Iswap split from Boko Haram in 2016 and became a dominant group in Nigeria with tides to the so-called Islamic State. Many Maduguri residents fear jihadists are surrendering not out of remorse but in desperation to escape Iswipe rivals who were executing Boko Haram militants for refusing to yield to the group. The protesting terrorists which have been in the camp since August were demanding authorities hand, you know, hand them to the cow, you know, to cow, pardon. They are provided daily to slaughter themselves instead of being provided with the beef from the abattoir, the source said. People living in the area came out with locally made weapons and vowed to kill anyone of the protesters who stepped out of the camp. Military members, that is Gaga said. The people still see them as a security threat, said Gaga, who was among security personnel sent to prevent the jihadists from leaving. Gidon Taki resident Usman Bunu said, People in the area do not believe the surrender, you know are sincere and the protest only confirmed their suspicion they will consider anyone not in their fold as an infidel which is why well, they want to be allowed to slaughter their cow themselves bono said 
had they come out of the camp we would not have hesitated in finishing them all because we know how dangerous they are he said the threat by the harmed residents and reinforcement of security personnel ended the riot and the inmates returned to their quarters Pono said the riot was the second in the camp with a similar one over the same demand in September. Military leader Babakura Kolo said, The Boko Haram inmates have been unruly since they arrived in the camp, constantly quarreling with his men guarding the camp and accusing them of looking at their wives, Kolo said. They still have Boko Haram mentality and openly insult our men as agents of the infidel government. Kolo said, What is your thoughts to this? What is your reaction to this brand development? We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section according to what we've heard. Hundreds of Nigerian Boko Haram terrorists who have been held in a camp in Bono State after surrendering to the military rioted on Wednesday to demand the right to slaughter cows for meat. A FP report. What is your thoughts to this? As you can see, the extension as hundreds of repentant Boko Haram terrorists riots in Borno State. We would like you to let us know your own reaction to this brain development. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts to this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Adioba reacted to this and said, Let us not be afraid to say the truth. Buhari recruited these terrorists into the army and reintegrated them into the society to infiltrate the army and a spy in the country. The Islamic system use pardon the Islamic system used by Afghanistan, which eventually allowed Taliban to take over power, is what Buhari is strategically doing. Before 10 years now, most of them would have been promoted into senior officers and they will eventually give dictates and order to the entire police. Imagine Pantami is allegedly a Boko Haram Ali and is the communication minister. You can simply do the mathematics and understand that Buhari is a deadly Islamic fundamentalist promoted to establish an agenda that would destroy the entire northern Nigeria first and later the other parts of the nation. That is what has been said. And he said Buhari should be in prison by 2023. That is what Adi Oba have said. What is your reaction to this? That President Muhammad Buhari has put all uh, the Islamic, you know, men in most of the strategic, you know, position in Nigeria. All these things is not because he wants anything to be done, but because he wants to promote the finalization agenda of which he has. We would like you to share thoughts with us via the comment section on this. Don't forget that there is tension as hundreds of repentant Boko Haram terrorists. Riot in Borno State, according to Sahara reporters. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not, and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.